Got mail? No, but seriously, you guys. We know a lot of people wonder, how do you receive mail when you're full-time RV living? So, we've got answers for you. Watch this video. two fur babies, Piper and Gertie. Last year in 2020, we sold everything to hit the road full time in our fifth wheel. We are living light and loving life. Do we get packages and mail? Yes. How do we get it? So we can get it. They hand it on the stairs? Okay. So we're talking about obviously mail today and how as a full-time RV family we receive mail um, and packages and things like that. Um, it's not gonna be a very long video. There's really not a whole lot to it, but I did want to get this information out there because we do get the question a lot. Um, so I hope this is educational and informational. Um, and I would love to hear what you guys use um, in the comments below. So when it comes to mail and how we get mail, uh, we use a company called Texas Homebase. Uh, there are other uh, providers out there that do this, like Escapees and Good Sam does it. Um, there's, there's a bunch of them actually. Um, you just gotta kinda find the one that you like the most. Um, a lot has to do with the geographical location. We chose Texas Homebase simply based off of where it was. It's actually in Wichita Falls, Kansas. We're from Oklahoma, it's right on the southern border. And so it was easy for us knowing that uh, once we did this, I was gonna get the, the truck and all that stuff transferred over into Texas to become Texas residents. Um, a big reason that I did that is because Oklahoma is a state income tax state and Texas is not. So I was able to get rid of that off of my, my paychecks. So that was a big bonus. A little bit about Texas Home Base. They're based out of Wichita Falls, Texas, uh, like I said before. Um, the service that we use, and I'll show it here, is the digital mailbox. Um, it's $200 for the year, plus you pay for postage whenever you get things sent to you wherever you're at. Um, but that $200 really paid for itself pretty early since I lost the state income tax. Um, and so what you do is you obviously get all your stuff transferred there and that's your new address and what's cool about them is they don't it's not a PO box um, it's it's a no, it's their number and then it's like a number L and then whatever number it sounds like a PO box but it's not and just a little tip um, we had some issues at first with putting the number sign in front of the L and then your number if you take that number sign off 99.9% .9 of the time it's gonna go through as a normal address on how it works so the mail comes to them uh, they upload it and scan it into my digital mailbox where I have a platform I can go on to on their website with a password and a login and I can see all the stuff that they uploaded and the dates that it came in uh, from there I can open it up I can look at it I can then choose to either shred it forward it to wherever I'm at um, or hold the mail if I didn't necessarily know what to do with it yet. Uh, the forwarding part of it is very easy. We move every two to four weeks, so we do hop around quite a bit. And uh, it's very easy just to go in there, hit new forward address, type that address in, you select the mail that you want, uh, you select the shipment speed, and that's all based off of what you wanna pay um, for the, the postage. And then they just ship that to you and that's it. When it comes to Amazon packages or any other packages, um, we have had zero um, complaints or anything telling uh, these campgrounds telling us that we're not allowed to get packages. We haven't ran into that yet. I have heard that 
there are campsites out there that do this, um, but we luckily have not ran into that, so we haven't had any issues on Amazon packages or anything like that coming to us. Okay, so, I mean, like I said, it's very short. Um, there's not a whole lot to it. Uh, it's, I hope that I provided the information um, and, and all that stuff. Um, if I didn't and you have another question, please ask. Um, I may have forgot uh, or just overlooked it or whatever happened, but um, yeah, I'd love to hear uh, what you guys think about it or what you're using or anything like that. Um, just hit us up below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here and we appreciate you guys.